Okay, this is going to take as long as it takes. Um, for people interested in installing Open Bazaar, um, just to give you some background on what this Mac is, this is a 2006 Mac Pro 1.1, um, which is running 10.114 El Capitan. Um, and that's done by using the Pika EFI boot um, patch. Uh, the graphics card I've got running on this machine is a GeForce GTX 960, although it's the um, PCE uh, bus for on the motherboard of this is an old machine, so it doesn't run as quick as it uh, might. Um, but this card, even with uh, with that, it, it runs a lot quicker than the um, the Quadro four and a half thousand that was actually in it when I bought it, which at the time was a really good card. But that's only got five hundred megabytes of um, RAM. So anyway. I think that that's uncompli has complicated my installation. Um, uh, the El Capitan has got this SIPS protection on it now, uh, which means that you can't um, use sudo commands to write into application libraries. And the problem that's given me a lot of problems. Um, because the easy fix for that is actually to boot into your recovery partition and um, in terminal uh, you just run the uh, this script here it's the csrutil disable um, now that's a pretty easy process um, but with the Pike Alpha uh, with, with, with the patch I've got in here um, I can't I, I don't get a boot screen and because I don't get a boot screen that kind of complicates things um, and uh, uh, so on top of so, so I couldn't uh, disable SIP and so I had to find a way of actually installing the installer um, and writing to other directors uh, directories so that I could install Python um, so long story short, I ended up actually doing that with uh, with Rails. Um, so let's just, I'm going to drag this here. What I will do is I will do a blog post and I'll document all of this. Um, you can see this document here uh, where I've been through quite a lot of toing and froing, um, including trying to set up a remote VPS. Um, now, I used um, Sigma Cloud to do that, and I set up a Nabuto server, um, which was actually all the way in Washington, D.C., um, and I SSH'd that and in my terminal here I was able to control that server um, but I, I kept falling up the last hurdle uh, when I was connecting the local machine which hosts my shop uh, and that remote server. Uh, and one of the problems I had is I left that running that you can in, you can program it so that there's a daemon to, to, to leave the, the, the remote server running and the problem I encountered with that was I left it running uh, and when I got rails up and running and, and, and started running the server on my machine uh, the port that it was trying to talk through was already in use because I'd left that server running but that was on Friday, so I, I had to go back into there and I actually closed that that account down. I just got a seven day free trial. Um, so I shut that remote server off and I then programmed my local Mac to run as the node and server. So 
as I say, it is an, that, believe it or not, is an extremely long story short. So, anyway, it goes like this. You download the Open Bazaar app, um, and uh, that's easy enough done. Um, if we just, just go here, uh, uh, Open Bazaar org okay and you download here okay so when you download that you install the po pocket packet and off you go now I am I did install it on a MacBook book pro my partner's MacBook Pro to test it and set that all up and that's all running absolutely fine um, here we are this is it running here now um, you can see so if I just uh, click here right so that machine is actually upstairs here in this house it's um, and I'm looking at there's there's nothing in there uh, but I exchanged these hello world messages um, with myself so if I go back here back to my page here uh, you can see if I go like this I've got my notifications so I followed from my partner's machine um, and uh, I sent this hello world message so that's those notifications so we'll take that back so I made my I made this shop I think it was the week before last I, I twittered and sort of said I did it uh, but I didn't have a server online uh, which people could communicate with so it was just communicating with itself I made it I thought I'd lost it but happily it stayed there I thought I lost it again earlier as well um, and was actually quite alarmed uh, if I just pull this screen across here I was quite alarmed um, because I eventually fetched up at this page here unable to connect to the server well, I've had that quite a few over the last week quite a few times um, and uh, when I read down here um, and it says uh, reinstall if you still haven't connected um, and you don't already have a store set up you can reinstall this will remove an existing store which I didn't really want to do because I'd set up a shop on Shopify um, but I got fed up with with trying to get one a, a coinbase account set up to uh, and to do pricing in Bitcoin I just wanted to be able to do direct selling with Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer with no fuss um, and you know basically open bazaar when I heard about it was that was precisely what I wanted I thought it was fantastic um, I mean I, I I'm I'm actually I've got accounts for Bitcoin and I've also got ether um, and it's really the ether part that brought me here because open bazaar um, sits on top of this super machine and it's peer, all peer-to-peer -peer, and this is all running without any servers which is absolutely brilliant um, now uh, just on that um, on the Open Bazaar blog uh, they linked actually to something which I just wanted to uh, do a shout out for just um, this is uh, Cloud Sigma, who, who uh, I set up a remote server with, but I'm not using it at the moment. But if I go to YouTube here, and History, bit of an office week here uh, right now where is that um, let's have a look at 
this is it now. Now, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, this is the IPFS, the permanent web. Uh, this is the demo of this peer-to-peer -peer, um, uh, setup, and they're looking at using this with Open Bazaar. Um, and there was also an excellent talk at Stanford from Juan Bennett. Um, and Rasmus, I'm just working at the moment. You Give me a minute. You, you said you should fix up down here. Oh, thank you, Rasmus. That's excellent. Thank you very much. So here's uh, Jan Bennett, Juan Bennett, sorry, Juan, from Protocol Labs. Uh, and this... Up across the world. And this ends excellent up being talk out here for, but... about IPFS, um, which is all about peer-to-peer -peer communication. I'd recommend you watch both those videos because it gives an idea uh, how brilliant this stuff is when it all works and all the people are running nodes and so machines are talking to it. If you use BitTorrents you 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 uh you know you know how flexible and secure in the sense of not being censored or not being able to be censored they are. Um so anyway that that was that. So let's just um go back. So I was here and I didn't want to lose a shop. Happily I didn't. Uh, and then I came to this page, and this was the very last page I did with this last bit here, uh, where I went back in and did this bit for the umpteenth time, it seems, changing username and password to communicate with the server, which I eventually put on my Mac. And this is it here. Uh, you can see Open Bazaar, Open Bazaar server. It's running, so it says starting, but it is now running. Um, and Right, so to get to there, uh, and to get this functionality, right, that is my web page on this computer, okay, and that communicates through this, uh, this is a server set up on my actual machine, um, and when I say for instance go here um, not that one let's just find open bazaar where is it goodness gracious there's so much open on this machine nope uh, right I'm just going to open it again here let's just... so if you go to Open bazaar.org. Oh no, it's not that. That's the demo that comics. Uh, open bazaar bay. Now, open bazaar bay is a way to surf different open um, open stores. So this has listings, and you look and see what there is. Um, So you can see if there's anything that you find interesting. Um, now, I happen to know that Fender is one of my key words. So if I go like that, um, this is on the web now. And then if I say, right, here we go. Right, so I'm now, and you could, on your machine, look at this listing. Okay, for this guitar, it's just in the other room through here. Um, and basically, if I go like this, let's just make that window smaller there. You can't see it on the server here. Um, it's running in a demon in the background. So, and then if, on your machine, if you get to this and say listing with Open Bazaar. Oh, interesting. Okay, and that's launched Open Bazaar, and it's looking at it here. Uh, so it's opened that up. Okay. Uh, so I'm now on that store. If you want to 
So this is you and your computer. You've opened it there. You might want to say, right, okay, this is the about page. Latest listings. So if I want to see the, if you click on it, okay, you can see it will then open that. And that so this is the web controlling my it's on a peer-to-peer -peer getting that and it's not just off this machine this is distributed to all the other uh, nodes who also then send out all of the basically bits of the file which then reassemble on your computer so that's that's all working fine so open bazaar bay is actually a really good way of, of, of uh, discovering stuff so um, you just go like this and um, so like for instance here we are there's these pictures here yeah I'm back it took me daddy Darling, boys, go, go. boys, uh, thank you. Boys, I'm busy working at the moment. Would you mind if I just... Right, I'm just going to break there.